<coughs> Hi there guys, a bit of a continuation from my last video. This is the same city as we uh, looked at last time, except this time I have been working and fixing my uh, traffic issues. Yeah, as you can see on screen right now, there's a bit of a frame drop and uh, I really need to go out and invest in a, a separate hard drive to uh, record record my videos on because I'm recording on the same drive as uh, my game is running from so there's a bit of interference there uh, clearly anyway I think I worked out most of my traffic problems um, as you can see uh, traffic is running uh, smooth uh, not that many issues everything seems to be okay I don't have any queues anywhere and uh, I've been using these uh, highway intersections uh, they are <laughs> yeah we're getting a, a huge sorry a viewer on Steam that's fine anyway these, oh, that could also have an impact on my performance. So basically I'm streaming on Steam and recording a video and saving it on the same drive. So maybe, yeah, <laughs> that's actually pretty good, I think. Anyway, these intersections I found on uh, the workshop in the Steam and uh, they are amazing. Erased highway intersections. I'm not actually sure what they're called, but let's take a look. I think it's this one Elevated compact interchange. Yeah, that's the one These are great. So I basically replaced most of my intersections with that one and I even redesigned most of my city blocks if you remember from last time most of my city is divided into blocks except this part this is actually the first uh, part of the city I made but uh, this is the first industrial area I made but uh, of course I also remade that but basically I'm building these huge blocks and they are divided by highways, raised highways. And you can see I have intersections and the way I hook up these blocks is traffic is allowed to enter a block from the right and is only allowed to leave on the left. Meaning I will get a steady flow of traffic from one area to the other. The roads are not uh, one-way road, as you can see. They can drive both ways, and that's very important. Otherwise, you won't get fire, police, and uh, medical coverage. Uh, this is unmodded, so it's very important to take care of the roads. Of course, some places I have uh, connections across, as you can see here. I have uh, this transit hub right here, where I have train, uh, plane, subway, bus. Uh, space elevator and everything hooked up in the same area but when it's hooked down here it's on a one-way direction to reduce uh, traffic and you can see it's working quite well this is a, a very large bus terminal the layout is also from the workshop and uh, I think it's great this layout is called um, uh, let's see it's one of these, and yeah, it's really sad you can't see. Uh, yeah, Nachwerksplatz. It's German or Dutch, I'm not sure, but basically, it's an idea that is really great. You have a transport hub, sorry, bus depot, train station, subway, and then you have uh, six bus lanes right here, and you can see they are uh, quite active. This layout I really like, so I kind of included in not the exact same but uh, i took inspiration from it and you can see there's one more right here bus lanes like this the thing is the vertical road up here sorry horizontal roads are one way direction this way and these ones are also one way direction so you can only drive from left to the right in the bus area and downwards in the horizontal that's vertical direction of course and it's working very well 
and it allows me to hook up a lot of boss lines uh, throughout the area. Another thing I do a lot in is these walkways. <laughs> As you can see, they go straight through my city right there. And even though this is relative far, you can see people are still using it. So, everything is hooked up. I made sure I got a very extensive uh, subway system as well. So let's see, we, can, oh, we can't see the subway. Oh yeah, sorry. You can see the black lines right there. All the green uh, things pointing up is uh, subway terminals or stations if you want. So this area over here is pretty new. That's why it's not really uh, that developed uh, transport wise yet. But it's working very good. So let's see. Everything is able to drive in from the right side, as you can see. Both highways, both the south going and the north going, are able to at some point leave into the city. But they're not leaving into the same uh, intersection. And the only way out of the city block is uh, on the left side. They can drive out in both directions. I got multiple exits, meaning I'm dividing my traffic into the a different areas of the block. And it's working uh, pretty good. And see, I, I don't have any uh, traffic problems anymore. Even last time, I think we looked at uh, this area, you can see, here's the only queue I have. And it's growing. And I, it, I could sort it by uh, changing some of these roads down here to, to one-way directions. That would really ease up the traffic. Let's try that. So I'm using two lane and I can't uh, make them uh, one way. So let's do this instead. Oh, we have to update, of course. There we go. And as you can see, it really takes a lot of the traffic away. But that's also because we, by doing this, we removed the, the lighting signal, uh, I should think. So yeah, yeah, there's no signal now. It's just uh, signs, so common sense driving, and it's working out okay. Reason there is a lot of traffic here is because this is also a newly developed area. Uh, I destroyed everything in this area and uh, rebuilt it in the same manner. One big square roads from right to left and uh, only entrance on the right side and only exit on the left side meaning uh, if people need to move from over here to over here they can still do that because inside we still have two-way lanes as you can see but as soon as they want to go a bit further they can get on the highway and they will do so so i have a bit of a couple of buildings these are also a modded building they are a recycling center and it's it's quite funny that they i can use that because achievement is still enabled in this game uh, but i'm not playing modded basically this is the what's it called incineration plant except it's not burning things it's recycling <laughs> it's doing the same thing it's a pretty nice mod, and uh, I really enjoy it. Any other modded building? Oh, no. I think that's it. But basically, this map... Oh, yeah, there's one thing you can see. I have this dam right here, but it's not really hooked up. Well, you can say it's hooked up right here. Output zero, and the only reason I have it... Because I have a lot of ship routes... Uh, you can see they're able to <laughs> pass it, if let's just call it that. You can see I got a freight terminal right there with a queue. So maybe I should add another. I got a passenger terminal over here and up here I got another freight terminal. Uh, might add one more and up here we are pumping in city water. And we're pumping it out down here. The dam is really preventing this going upstream because uh, I was having a problem where 
the polluted water was actually drifting up because I don't really have much of a, uh, a stream here. As you can see, there's almost no movement in the water, and here we have a lot of movement, and it's only caused by these because we're pumping out water. All the current from the river is starting up here and going down here, and then the, <laughs> these pumps are actually able to suck out all the current, meaning uh, there's no flow in the water from this point on and down. But adding the dam prevents water from flowing backwards. The idea with this map was to have a dam up here, and you can see I have the road right now. I actually have the dam, and the water would go up into roughly this height, and it would be fine and would produce a lot of electricity, but uh, it completely ruin the the water stream and the flow so yeah removed it also worked a lot of rails or rail systems into the city you can see i got the subway but i also got a lot of uh, normal surface rail and you can see i got two tracks and that's because i've divided them one for passengers only and one for freight only you can see that's very expensive uh, but it's working out great because Otherwise, I have to uh, deal with um, queues on the train track, as you can see. There we go. Freight trains, and there's actually a passenger train parked. You can see I got a few parked right there. That's really annoying. There's a lot of trains in this city. <laughs> there we go. Three again parked. Queuing up. There we go. Freight train moving up. Um, after I divided it, it worked out really, really great. Uh, so at the city border, they have to merge. Uh, and the way you can really make the computer automatically divide the trains is, is by um, only having your rail yards connected. Uh, sorry, freight yards connected up to this track and only have passenger chains, trains to this track then it will uh, try to automatically uh, separate them, as you can see. And it wo it's working out great. At the other end of the track, I had to cut it up. Well, for now, we can uh, reassemble it. The problem is, uh, for some reason, when the trains are up here, you can see that's only uh, freight trains that are allowed to leave here. That's fine. Uh, they tend to queue up out into uh, <laughs> the border area of the map. And now you just get a long queue of trains all the way up here. And when, once they arrive here, they start to queue up inside my city. And that's a problem. And so sometimes I just disconnect it and uh, the queue will disappear. Uh, the map is one I made myself. It's called uh, Flatland, a flat map. Got a lot of water sources up here, so we are able to get a stream in. And the idea was this area is raised, so people can put a dam in here, but it, it's not working out as great as I would expect it to. Out of the... 25 blocks you can see this is the area really flat i'm actually quite happy with how it turned out and you can see i already prepared two near areas right here where i can uh, expand my city and and there really is a huge demand for industry and that's because most of my industry i try to define them into uh, resource areas uh, so when you open the filter panel and check out the research you can see this is farmland up here so of course my industrial area in this area is farmland and uh, we got oil over here but i'm not using it and some uh, ore there's almost no forest area in this map so that's okay i guess I only put it there on the forest and required uh, to publish the map. But, there we go. This is uh, my unlock city. 
And uh, this is the city I used to unlock uh, my uh, my monuments, my uh, unique buildings, and uh, it was okay. The worst one was actually having a crime rate of 40% or more for four years. <laughs> the way I did that was uh, to save, backup save my city and uh, simply raise the tax to max, disable all police station or all police crime prevent, adding city parks all over the area and uh, just setting the speed up and the crime rate shot up like a rocket and uh, once it it was above uh, 40 for some time and i just added a single police station in the middle of the city and clearly they were unable to handle all the crime but it was they were able to keep it on on that level about uh, 45 and i just kept it there for two years ran out of cash totally i had to borrow money uh, to get the city back up but instead of getting the city back up once i got the achievement or the unlock i just loaded my bag up so i stepped back and played from before i tried uh, and it was okay uh, the next worst was the 1000 abandoned buildings well as you can see because i'm playing unmodded uh, usually I have the auto delete uh, mod enabled but unmodded I always have a lot of uh, abandoned building for all kinds of different reasons you can see these guys are leaving because uh, there's no goods to sell uh, let's see over here there's probably a few you can see a big one right there no oh is, is it that one right there there we go abandoned because no one collected dead people yeah that's that's funny because the biggest problem i have when playing this game is dead people there's so many dead people i have so many funeral homes it's uh, insane let's see all of those marked right now are either funeral homes or graveyards so for one of these blocks i have four this one i only have two Four, 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 four. Graveyard. That's an industrial area, right? Four, four. At least four. Insane amount. And and funding. I'm adding extra funding to uh, medical services. You can see I'm running at one thirty-eight percent. Of course, as you can see, I'm gaining a ninety k per per day a month. That's so I could add more funding. That's really a problem, I think, with the with the coding or the game in general. Uh, of course, you need those funeral homes or parlors if you want, uh, and graveyards, but uh, that many? Not really. This city is only 135 people right now. A thousand people, of course. And that's actually a small city. The city I live in, in real life, is a city of 100,000 and... 115,000 people so that's roughly the same size as as this but i can tell you the city i live in is not the, this big even if i took all of these houses and put them together it would not take up the same area this is insane so in that term realism the realistic is is not simulated very well uh, i think it's a bit off but it's still fun i love the game and now that i was able to work out traffic even better and the best tip i can give is only to use those lanes two-way lanes so like this one you don't have to have the grass in the middle it's just nice and the only places i don't have those are on the highway because they are three lane that's fine Everything else is two lane or single lane, like uh, this neighborhood, which are going to be deleted very soon. I'm going to change this block into the same type as these and add a piece of highway up in this direction. Replace this intersection and this intersection with uh, the new highway, raised highway intersections, and uh, rearrange this area. So, very nice. Very nice. 
Now that I have everything unlocked, I can finally play the game I want to play. So, I'm really looking for a, a fun and challenging map. I, I love to build uh, detailed cities in, in height, in rough terrain maybe even, and uh, having to work out the bridges and tunnels. Oh, of course you can't make tunnels in this game. Uh, hopefully they will add it, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's some sort of limitations uh, with Unity. I could really imagine uh, there would be some sort of problem with the terrain, how terrain works in Unity, because it's really, what you see it doesn't really have any depth, it's just a flat piece of, uh, imagine it as a piece of paper, and you can't really do tunnels since that, but maybe they got a workaround for that, but that, that would be my number one uh, update if I were to choose something for this game, that would be uh, tunneling. <laughs> Other than that, I really enjoy the game. Now I need to find a uh, fun yet challenging map uh, where I can really get into designing the road layout and experimenting with bridges, having tunnels. No, sorry, not tunnels. I don't know why I keep mentioning those tunnels. Uh, but just having fun building a city. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Comment rate subscribe and if you have or know about a cool map uh, let me know uh, i have already downloaded maybe 10 or 20 maps and i don't hesitate to just try new ones until i just find one i really think okay this is a fun map that i really want to play through and and build and develop a a fun city uh, so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time Bye.